everyone thank you so much for joining me today this is JM Candles in Home and today I want to talk to you about a very special process called blending fragrances um, it's something that I do quite often because a lot of my fragrances are custom they're custom blend um, and um, I just want to talk to you about little tips and tricks on how to blend candles um, you and the tools that I use in order to do so so um, right now i have um this right here if you can see it these are called perfume test strips so i use these to help me blend the fragrances um separate each fragrance and you know put them together to see what they smell like so um these can be found on amazon i'll put the link below um and they're really helpful and they're really affordable too it's not very costly at all um so uh the next thing i have is the fragrance the fragrance and then also a lot of the fragrance measurements depend on the type of wax you use so um you know just you know look at a chart um a website that i use all the time is candle um candle science candle science science is actually amazing i i actually you know buy a lot of my stuff from them my supplies from them um their fragrance their waxes and so on and so forth um so that's just a little tip that you can you know purchase there they have also have a kit you can try to use as well um to practice um candle making um so let's get started so we have our fragrance i have three separate fragrance the first one is called blood orange it's a citrusy fragrance it smells really good um it's very sweet and it's amazing and i just love the smell it's one of my popular citrus um, the people that my customers that love citrus they tend to love this one um, and there's others as well in my collection but this one is pretty good um, then you have the sea salt orchard sea salt orchard is it's not really a citrusy a citrusy scent it's um i can't explain it, it smells it smells good <laughs> that's all i can say it smells really good um and black coral black coral is very masculine has a very strong scent and it tends to overpower any fragrance that you put with it so how i start this off is by um taking one individual test strip per fragrance and i will put the name of the fragrance on there so i tend to dip the thick part in and i'll write the name on the thinner part so here we go Last one. Okay, so now that I have my strips labeled for each fragrance that's going um, on the strips, I am going to now dip. So what I would suggest is you don't need a whole lot of fragrance. You just need a tiny bit. So I, I take the bottle and I dip it inside. It's about here. See that? I don't know if you can see that, but I dipped it to about less than half of the strip. Um, and I'm going to place it on um, a paper so that it doesn't stain my surface. So here we go. And I'm going to cover it. Make sure you cover your fragrance because you don't want to leave your fragrance. They are expensive and they can also um, mess up different surfaces because of what they're made out of. Um, so just be very careful. This one is black, no, blood, blood orange. So just make sure this, this strip matches with what the fragrance is. Here we go. Close it up. Don't forget. And sea salt orchard. nice amount of fragrance on there so I'm gonna let the fragrance sit for a little bit um, just so that you it can get like a, a nice blend on what they're gonna smell together so I'm gonna let them sit and marinate a little bit on the paper 
paper on the strips um, and now I'm going to talk to you about something that's very important in candle making okay so once you get your fragrance there's a I'm gonna use this bottle because you know I told you before I get my products from candle science um, there is a, a, a section on the bottle I don't know if you can see that I don't know if it's too bright it's called flashpoint now when you are pouring your wax you have to make sure you do not pour your fragrance into the wax at above this flash point point because that means that your 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 fragrance will burn out and it will, your candle won't have a scent so you make sure when you pour your wax it has to be under this flash point every number every candle fragrance have a different flash point so this one it says 235 degrees Fahrenheit do not pour your fragrance um, when the the wax is above 200 I usually don't have my candle burn wax melting over 200 I usually tend to like have it like around 200 and then I let it cool down and I pour my wax under 180 because um, that means that the the, the burn off will will be too much you are gonna get some off gassing you are gonna lose some fragrance when you pour your wax and your fragrance together uh, but that's normal because it's supposed to do that and you just mix it and mix it well uh, it takes about one minute to mix and stir that fragrance into that wax properly so make sure you do that make sure you pour your wax and um, pour your your fragrance um, under the flash point um, you can try the suggested temperature that I said, uh, but make sure the fragrance flash point is, is, is listed and you're mindful of it and you pour your fragrance under that temperature because you will lose the fragrance of the candle. So um, that is a very important tip, so be, remember that. So now in order to test my strips out and see what smells good together, I usually tend to put them together like this and just bring them to my nose and I smell. And these, this two combinations smells really good together. Black coral and blood orange. It smells really good together. And um, you can try another one. Maybe it's a, a black coral and sea salt orchard. It can smell really good together. And you just hold it like this. We don't need to put them on top of each other because you're not going to get the two scents together. You're just putting them next to each other and you're bringing it to your nose. Do not start swiping and fanning it because remember this is still wet and if you start swiping the fragrance stick, the test strip, it can, um, the fragrance can splatter and get in your eye and you don't want that. So in order to avoid that, just put them together and just bring it to your nose. You'll get the same um, results with testing out fragrance. So, I hope you enjoyed this little tiny like tip on you know blending fragrances and test using test strips. I will post the link in the description, um, and I hope I helped. And if you have any questions, definitely leave uh, questions in the comments, and I will be happy to help. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.